And the Finance Minister has given a sneak peek of what will be in the budget next week, promising a big focus on the cost of living. Political reporter Amelia Wade joins us now. Kia ora, Amelia. Grant Robertson's found some savings. Some savings indeed. Grant Robertson has started his sales pitch as a sensible spender. And part of that rebranding started today with him announcing that he'd found $4 billion over four years in savings. A lot of that has come from what's already been thrown on the policy bonfires, the media merger and the income insurance scheme, and from unneeded COVID cash. A lot of what was announced today will need to go towards the cyclone recovery, and Grant Robertson's going to be announcing details of that on Sunday because he wants to give himself some clear air for Thursday when he stands here in this room and delivers his no-frills budget brand budget. Inflation, Cyclone Gabriel, they're putting a lot of pressure on the budget. Um, we've asked ministers to go away. You've heard the Prime Minister make the comments he's made. And so the net result of that is that you know we've been able to put a balanced budget together. It doesn't mean that there's a lot of scramble. And Amelia, the budget isn't the only big thing on the horizon for the Prime Minister, Chris Hipkins. That's right. Chris Hipkins has secured the most powerful meeting of, on the planet, the President of the United States. In 10 days, Joe, Joe Biden is heading to Papua New Guinea to meet with Pacific leaders as the states continues to vie for influence in the Pacific. Chippy meeting POTUS is a mega meeting, and it will also pile pressure on Hipkins to meet with the other side of that Pacific power equation, China. Amelia Wade, Nani Nui.